guess. Okay, um, last year I traveled along this road, uh, Liebknecht, to uh, a number 79 Liebknecht. Apparently, there, there is an old and new numbering system. Uh, 79 Liebknecht is not 79 Michala, and so I was told the uh, end of the ghetto, ghetto, uh, was right about here, and this is approximately where 79 Michala might have been. Um, and uh, as you can see, well, this was uh, possibly uh, the home of the Katz family, uh, at which. Uh, Brina Bloch stayed uh, with her newborn uh, infant uh, Ganesha Katz. Um, uh, Brina Bloch Katz living with the Katz family. And um, it was a smaller, less grand home than the, uh, her own home, the Bloch family home. Um, Brina Bloch was kind of a uh, uh, debutante. Uh, not in the strict sense of the word, perhaps, but a debut, nevertheless, a debutante of uh, Neshviz along with my grandmother uh, Lily Gurvitz. And they were both. Uh, Lily was, I believe, aunt to Bryna, the niece, but they were so close in age, I think by two years, that they were practically cousins and friends. So, um, they, Bryna stayed here, I believe, for a year before she. And um, uh, her girl uh, Ganesha, and I believe her maybe sister-in-law, I'm not sure, Rachel Katz, uh, left for New York. Uh, and uh, you know, after the genocide, uh, Bryna and my grandmother Lily were clo very close friends, uh, being. Uh, basically two of the last uh, Litvak bourgeoisie uh, from Nyeshvitz to survive that world which was basically uh, wiped out by capitalism uh, in its fascist variant. So there's an old family photo of the Katz family, the last photo they took before Bryna and family left for New York, possibly at the back of this house, I'm not sure. Uh, the numbering system now is different.